today we're going to be talking about Smart Cut from Digital Heat Effects. This is a fantastic piece of software that allows you to take a graphic, a full size graphic, and cut it in half. So you've got one graphic, it's a little bit too large for your printer to be able to print on your transfer media, and you'd like to split this graphic. And as you can see in our graphic here, it does a smart cut. It does not just cut a straight line down the middle that you'd be able to actually see the line and it'd be really easy to see where you merge the two graphics together, but rather does a smart cut for it. So this is for the digital heat effects transfer system and working with digital transfers that need to be split or cut in half. So let's go right into the smart cut software. I'm going to go ahead and open up my first graphic here. And this is my Vision logo here. And here we go. We've got this Vision logo. Currently, the logo is 11.7 by 8.28. So it's pretty close to be able to print on an A4 sheet. What if, but what if my customer wanted it to be a little bit larger? What if I had some 2XL shirts I wanted to put these on and I wanted larger than about uh, 11, 12 inch logo? So I could go ahead and click on here and, and adjust the size of my logo. So say I was going to do this at about 15 inches. So now it's a 15 by 10. It's a little bit large to be able to actually do this on an A4. So I can choose my A4 paper here. And, and as you can see here, it generates two boxes, a blue one and a pink one. And these are movable. And what we want to do is we want to cross these over. So we have some space in the middle. When we've got space in the middle, I go ahead and I hit split. And it requests if I'm going to do a light garment or a dark garment. And the reason for this is really is all about um, where it's going to decide to make the split. So this is going on a light colored garment. And there we go. Instantly, it does a quick split. Once I save these, it will save it as a single uh, output PDF and I can bring that into my software print it and it will print two transfers together Let's go ahead and look at another example Okay, another graphic that we have here uh, Here is a space monkey with a digital heat effects logo if we look at the size of this it's quite large It's 16 by 22 in the graphic itself That's what's created and I would like to make this essentially as large as I can for the front of a t-shirt using an A4 size print like I would with my digital heat effects i550. So I'll start by, uh, I would rotate it. I'll choose my A4 paper again. It's got other options as well, but I'll choose my A4. And as I can see here, it's still a bit large for A4. So I'll resize the image to get uh, a good fit. So let me bring this down to just say um, a 15 inch width. Let's see how that works out. So here we go, and I've got a little bit of spacing here in the middle. I'll be able to cut this, uh, but if I want a smoother cut, a little bit more spacing in the middle would be better. So maybe I'll just bring this down to a 14 inch width. And still a very large graphic, a 14 by 10 inch for the front of a shirt. It's a nice size graphic, or a 10 by 14, either way. I can tighten that up. I've got a lot of space here. And let's just see how this splits. So we split it, lighter dark garment. So here we are, the graphic is split. And as we see, what it does is it creates a path, an uneven path, where you can kind of envision where this is going to kind of slide into here, and this will slide over here. So now we can go ahead and take a look um, at how these graphics would print and how they would look on some t-shirts.